I hate Twitch. I hate Twitch. I hate Twitch. I hate Twitch. <laughs> Goddamn stream notification. It's the wrong one. Urgh. All right, we're popping back into this 1990 Soviet coup campaign. I really enjoyed it when I played it. So I figured, why not do it again? I uh, have to look back into it, because I know I started it with one boat and then got sniped by some somebody with a standoff torpedo <laughs> very soon into it. Turned out I started with the permit and then moved to skipjack. But here we're going to step it back a step, if you will, and go to the old... Uh, did I just say Skipjack? I meant to say Sturgeon. I always mess that up. Went from Permit to Sturgeon in the original series. This time we're doing Skipjack. <clears throat> so let's do it. Save one. Sure. Why not? You know, speaking of uh, like test depths and speeds and such, I was in the submarines Reddit Discord the other day, and someone shared a uh, a procurement document for the Virginia class, and I'm not sure why it's not classified. I guess it's a uh, unclassified for some reason, but the requirement for speed in it is only 28 knots for the Virginia's top speed. The thing itself also mentions trading off speed for cost versus uh, Seawolf. Alright, let's get to that Skippy. Skippy, skip, 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 a roo, sculpin. Okay, I was like, where's the, uh, <laughs> the, the intro thing here? <clears throat> Berlin Wall Falls. It's a Gorbachev. Anyone seen that Gorbachev Pizza Hut commercial? <laughs> Chebrikov. I wonder if they actually like found someone who was a like a member of the hardliner coup in like the early nineties, like a little after this happened. To be the uh, the poster child here. <clears throat> oh yeah, where's that uh that image? It's in the it's in here that it's like a combination of like a hind and some other helicopter. <laughs> kind of weird looking, but it's not not this one. East Germany in. What is this a photo from? Look like airsoft bros. Like they may not be, but I'm just <laughs> talking smack. Armies exchange fire in Berlin. Look at that young Colin pal. War! Soviets invade. Large number of Soviet subs about to get underway, likely attempt to break out to the North Atlantic through the Gayuk Gap. Let's eliminate as many as possible. Oh yeah, the patrol area is green 13. Green 13, Whiskey Bravo, Roger, Roger. Between the Faroe Islands and the North Sea. <clears throat> you got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm in repair. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> no missile capability in the skipjack. Did I know that? I think it's been a very long time since I played as a skipjack. Hmm. 
Not even harpoon deer. All right, anchors away. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh yeah. I think I wanted to like change this map. The last time I played as well, but. It would require some effort. I'd probably have to just remake all these little areas. Because I think this is a static image. Alright, hey everyone, FPS Chaz here. Welcome back to Cold Water Soviet Coup again. I really enjoyed this campaign when I played it. So uh, we're going to try it again. Last time when I did it, I started with a permit class sub and then got sniped by a standoff torpedo and very early on changed to a... Uh, a sturgeon at that point, but this time we're gonna go Skippy, the old Skip Jackaroo. So let's do it. Q 2.0, this time it's personal. He was just a man. <laughs> New contact bearing 17601. Weak layer 82 feet. Clear, fresh breeze, weak surface duct. Okay, so it shouldn't be too noisy. What's a fresh breeze? I guess that I would assume that's lighter than a stiff breeze. Do it. All right, so we're going to be at a, Con, sonar, lost a bit of a Last disadvantage. One, seven, six, contact faded. Skipjack is rather old at this point. Was there even any skipjacks still in commission in 1990? I think we talked about this <laughs> the last time we went through here. I don't think this is even possible to play as this thing. Maybe that's why I went for a permit. I don't even remember. But now yeah, we're here. We are here. For some reason, this mousing behavior feels opposite of what I remember. I don't remember if dot mod like inverted it or not. Just feels weird to my intuition. Let's get out of this layer. Oh boy. Con sonar switching to active search. Oh god, get out of here. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, all these things are not showing up full time. We are cavitating. And we gotta get the heck out of here. Oh, I said that enable point really short. Make turns for three zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing one hundred feet. Come left to one five five. Helm eye. Passing Chicon sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing three, three, nine, passing 300 feet. Come left to one, two, five, helm I. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing Chicon sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing zero, one, one. Trial by fire. <laughs> right away again. Oh, we were really damn close aboard there. <clears throat> Passing 700 feet. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing. One, nine, two. Passing 600 feet. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Con passing four hundred feet. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing passing three hundred feet. Passing two hundred feet. Yeah, knuckle hole. Con, knuckle formed. Passing 200 feet. Passing 300 feet. 
Con, knuckle formed. Come left to one zero seven helm I. Con helm steady course. <coughs> Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, nine, four. Only gonna drop a buck fifty, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Kaboom! Con sonar, switching the passive search. He didn't even get off like any like tube torpedo. It's really went for standoff. We were so close in. It's like we're we even like within minimum range there. No, okay, so he's actually pretty far. Oh, there's two torpedoes out there. Okay, I thought we had I thought one had blown up. Passing 400 feet. Passing 300 feet. Passing 200 feet. Make turns for one, zero, not con sonar. No longer cavitating. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice way to start here. This is a... It was a real, they were really shooting at us. <laughs> Funky plug-in cord. Oh, the chat is blocking a little bit of the... This down here. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, not. Oh, since last time, thanks to iCiter and Otto the Fat for following. That's like some... Monty Python type name. Otto the Fat. <laughs> Ooh, yes, we got those uh, Dangerous Waters esque reload times. Make turns for eight knots, maneuvering eye. Con, helm, steady course. I'm gonna try and look up how to like mess around with formats because like right now I want the webcam to be over here so like whenever we like leave the mission and all like the mission briefing text is over here I don't want to remember how to switch back and forth between that all the time so I need to look up like modding the layouts try and move this recognition manual to the left I don't even know if that's possible but we'll look into it on, not the road, end of the world ready. I also want to like change it so all these are visible at the same time. Passing 300 feet. What? Why are we submerging? No flooding, no damage. The heck is going on? We're slowly diving. That's very weird. Let's uh, leave the mission and see if that uh, fixes anything. That was not your target, no. Was it, is my target kill all sons of bitches? <clears throat> Yeah, sink all hostile submarines encountered. I did what you asked. <laughs> I know there's there's like one of these like uh, enemy subs is uh, supposed to be the real one we're going after here. Three one nine Sierra one. Con. Make make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Make turns for 
Three knots. Maneuvering eye. I think the model has a toad. I know this was a point of contention with you about the, as to whether this thing ever had a toad, but I don't think it's actually modeled in the game. Maybe the realism campaign guide found that out and took it out because I don't have a toad own ship here, just a uh, hull hull sensors. A bit of a deep layer. Hilti Brand, hello. Oh, thanks for resubscribing there. The new headphones have this funky plug in cord. What's a funky plug in cord? It's all fine. I think this is... I, I'm going to say that the Skipjacks did not exist anymore in 1990. I think we had this discussion on stream before. I think technically some of their decommissioned dates were like 92 or something, but like at that point, like it's already out of service. <clears throat> Cord plugs into your source, but also into the headset. Okay, I've seen that before. Never experienced it, but I've seen it. I don't know what the basis for that is. Different cables. If the cable goes bad, you don't have to... You can just swap out cables. It'll be useful for when I vacuumed up the, uh... The plug of this headphone. I had to, like, put in my, my own custom one. <laughs> I vacuumed it up and I had to, like, solder it in. But, uh... Yeah, so that would have been nice if I could just plug right into the the headphone there. Change cables. It feels like the boat has a down angle right now. Oh, a 10 foot cord. I think mine's like six or eight feet or something. Con, dive at three, five, zero feet, dive by. It's pretty much only handy if I need to like walk to the other side of the room but don't want to take my headphones off. Oh. Did not realize we had acquired. Our track here. Nope, not Delta Four. Thank you. Con Sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Looks like another Victor Three. I don't know how fast he's going, but it seems weird that we would have a... Okay, he's going 10 knots. That we would have an acoustical advantage over a Victor 3, but if he's going 10 knots, that's more believable. Should be a PM, got it. like prime solution building orientation here max bearing rate
What happens if we start turning in here? Okay. There it is. I'm looking for a submarine. It's big, it's black, and the driver is a very good friend of mine. All right, let's head that way. Come left to three zero seven Helm. <clears throat> Either we're right at zero dB on this toad, or he's not using his toad. <laughs> Vodka for driver. <laughs> Hello, Grasu. Just saw that movie the other day for the first time in a few years. I think since I did it on the Atomic Age. Just one of those. Uh, Childhood favorites. Oh, he's above the layer. Okay, that also explains this noise discrepancy. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, he does have the toad out, and it was just at zero dB. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Hmm. Con helm, steady course. I don't recall seeing this like bottom before. Looks kind of like Caribbean y. Oh, do we want to moss it up? I mean, now's the time to switch the tube. We're going to do it. Dimitri, hello. Forgot to close one of the doors. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I'm doing just dandy. Oh yeah, dangerous waters reload times. Forgetting why this is taking. I was, uh, briefly forgot why this reload was taking so long. It's not completely dangerous waters reload times because. A tube full reload takes 18 minutes in that game for unload and then load. Whereas like an empty tube load takes half the time because you don't have to take a weapon out. <clears throat> yeah, so maybe this wasn't the best time, but <laughs> we'll just uh, play it by ear. As they say. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know, so I'm trying out some new lighting instead of just like blasting my face with blue. I'm just gonna make it like, like the accent light instead. Cobalt Ethan, hello, long time no see. Alright, so I'm changing course to try and uh, 
like head for his baffle line as soon as possible because that's really what I care about here is getting into his baffles not because I mean he has a toad it's not for sound purposes it's just for tactical purposes con helm steady course I don't know the skipjack class no it is not a Soviet sub it's the uh second class of American nuclear submarine. Well, I guess like really like the first widely produced because you had Nautilus. I think two boats were made of Nautilus class and then there was, or was Skipjack, sorry, not Skipjack, original Seawolf. Was that like a Nautilus, the same layout, but just like a different reactor? Anyway, this one was like the, was like the first like I guess you could say mass-produced American nuclear sub. Predecessor to Permit Thresher. And uh, probably not in commission anymore by 1990, but kind of forgot that before I started the stream <laughs> then my memory got shocked I was like oh yeah I think we talked about this in the last 1990 Soviet coup stream where it would really only be permits around at this point but we're doing it going skippy and then the in-game model for the 84 skipjack has a toad array but in the 1990 campaign they took away my toad so this is also a point of contention if the skipjacks ever got toads. Vintage sub, yeah. <laughs> it's a collectible. <clears throat> kind of looks like a Dutch walrus class without the shark fin and X rudder. I am not familiar. Oh my god, my phone is... Boiling. Let's look it up. Red Letter Media posted, Christmas. Hey, everyone. The other day we filmed our best of the worst Christmas episode. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay, looking at some walrus class photos. Eh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> Feel like a, a boomer when I do this. No offense, <laughs> but <laughs> just gonna put the phone with a uh, a photo of it up to the camera. It's the <laughs> easiest way I think I can get this image across. Yeah, the skipjack is indeed uh, unique because it does not, with like the, the subsequent class permit going onwards, they always had this like cylindrical section, but this one here has like the ideal, the very idealized like a uh, hull form for a submarine where like the, uh, the radius is constantly changing. So the, the pressure hull on this has some like conical sections. If you saw my uh if you saw my Torsk tour video. And then I'm sure they're like that was a bitch to work with, so let's just put a cylindrical hull in there because it's just a little bit of a drag penalty. And yeah, something you may have heard of is like a, a length to diameter ratio of like seven and a half is like the ideal for drag and pretty sure skipjack is like right on the money with that, maybe like a little more or less. Sea Wolf is similar to that as well. Sea Wolf has a rather low length to drag ratio.
length of drag, length of diameter, excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah, that shark tooth thing, okay. It's the diesel exhaust. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. Course of the Victor 3, 193. Opposite side is 1 3. Baffles would be 4 3. Is there no way for me to measure that? Oh, I need to get my the map thing with the range circles. Things to do in the interim. I need to actually make a list of this because I'm not going to remember otherwise. Put it on the tire rack invoice. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Look at HUD stuff. Move ship recognition. Have all panels showing. Uh, contrasty over map, overworld map. In battle, range rings. Okay. Yeah, we're getting close. Its baffles are more or less zero four five. Still got like a little ways to go. At this point, the range is just opening up. So let's just do. Left this. Two, two, six, four. Helm I. Let's release. Oh, we were not ultra quiet. Let's uh speed up a little bit at our peril. Make turns for six knots. Maneuvering I. Plan to kill him or just sneak away? Oh, we're going for the kill. So I guess I don't really need to get too far into the battles because he has the tow. This is probably good enough. His range is just opening up at this point. Okay, I did not think that part through. <laughs> I think it's time to just start the shoosting. Con, helm, steady course. Let's see here. Maybe we'll do one this way, see which way it turns. Launch off another one here. Oh, with all that extra dot mod info I do miss. Okay, let's do it. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. Oh boy, there was someone else. <laughs> was an instant ping on launch. Talk some rapid localization here. Con sonar, new contact bearing two seven three designated Sierra two. Oscar two. Con sonar, Sierra Maybe. two is classified as submerged submarine. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Boy, already launching those things, huh? That is not the right button. I wanted to do the hotkey for deep. Shift T. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Yeah, it's an Usker, all right. I might as well give him two. Con fire control, we walk come right to three, two, nine, helm I. Con fire passing 500 feet. Make the con sonar no longer cavitating. Con helm steady course. Oh, 
Oh, the counter well, the accidental countermeasure of the launch actually kind of worked out for the better. Sweet Jesus, they really, uh, one, two, that Victor two, 3 nine, really was, four, gave me the business nine. with that one. Goodness gracious. Con, con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, zero, eight, five. Con, sonar, lost contact, Sierra, two, last bearing, two, six, three, contact, come right to, oh, no, three, five, nine, helm, I. Let's just keep going straight, Gone. more Gone. or less. City course. If these guys are far enough away, I don't want to like turn back and like get close to them. I'd rather have one torp coming after me than a lot. The question is, did this Oscar launch any torpedoes besides standoff? Victor Three does indeed have a totoro. Is it any good? It's totoro. Rather have it than nothing. Con maneuvering, making turns for three zero knots. Passing eight hundred feet. No knuckle, the heck. Passing seven hundred feet. Passing six hundred feet. Passing five hundred feet. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 400 feet. Passing 300 feet. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 2, 5, 4. Con knuckle formed. Alright, we're gonna do a little. Dotsy do here. We'll see if this torpedo is gonna like reacquire us, but I would like to try and circle in underneath of it. Yeah, this may not be wise. <laughs> Con, knuckle formed. Con, sonar, no longer cavitating. Oh, we got lucky with that knuckle Passing there. Sweet. Feet. All right, let's not die. Passing seven hundred feet. Come right to. Two, six, three. I suppose we get secure from pinging. Sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing two. Five five. Contact faded. Yeah, Skipjack is a hot rod. This thing was the fastest sub that the U.S. built until uh, L.A. And it's kind of short. Seventy-seven meters. What is that? Two hundred fifty feet. 260. Kaboom! Make turns for one. Oh, we were zero, close to streaming some Red Alert 2 today. There was a surprisingly strong showing Make from eight, Red Alert nine, 2 voters. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of uh, some guy does like uh, the same cost of like desolators versus the same cost of conscripts. So I've been watching a lot of those videos. And just got me, gave me the, the Red Alert 2 itch. Isn't alpha even shorter? Maybe. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but probably. Con maneuvering, making turns for eight. Alpha nine, also nine. has very similar to 7.5 length to diameter ratio. And also like 40 or 45,000 shaft horsepower, something outrageous. We got a lock. Countermeasure. Let's see. Con sonar, noisemaker. Yeah, uh, some countermeasure two, nonsense. Five. Come left to one eight two. Helm I. Make turn. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Takes so long to reload weapons. We actually got it. Kind of got to like sit around a little bit. Con maneuvering, making turns That's, for. And when five, I first started seven. that tube loading, it's gonna take like 30 minutes to reload all those tubes.
big son of a bitch. Yeah, it's a big target. Two, oh, four, those noisemakers. The Mark 48 just got turned back in on them. <clears throat> Con, Helm, Alpha, I think, is the fastest uh, mass produced sub. I think the Papa was like a little bit faster. Or Mike, whichever it was. I think Papa, though. Uh, Skipjack, no, Skipjack has more like, I don't know, something like 26 or 25,000 shaft horsepower. Oh boy. Yeah, suck it. Figure that wouldn't do it. Did that Mark 48 get stuck on circle search? Let's just start calling that circle jerk. <laughs> It's too far for acquisition. This thing has not lost any top speed ability from a Mark 48 hit. I don't even think it's. Uh, I think it's a little dubious that it would survive a Mark 48 hit, but we'll give it to them. Not because American torpedo best torpedo, just because it's a heavyweight torpedo. Oscar's pretty far. Chevette. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's no way that Oscar can still make 30 knots. It's a load of, load of malarkey. Is he take him on water? Can he not maintain? He may have lost depth control. No, I think he's stabilized, but no, he, he took on some flooding. He's got a up angle, but looks to be at a pretty steady depth. Are they just running? Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Make turns for two, zero knots, maneuvering eye. I don't want these guys to just run away. I mean, we're getting, we're hearing their pings, so we'll keep getting like solution data on them from hearing the pings, but I don't want them to just run away. Con maneuvering, making turns for two. Zero knots. Oscar is turning. Is he gonna slow down? I was diving. <laughs> Excuse me. Victor three re engaging. It is double hold, but that's a lot of explosive. <laughs> you see what Mark 48s do to like surface ships? And the outside hull is not really. It's not armor. It's just, uh. It's very thin. It's not the pressure hull. Has two pressure hulls side by side, right? Nope. The outer hull is simply hydrodynamic in nature. Only the in only the inner hull is the pressure hull. The outer hull just makes it smooth. But uh, the double hull lets you put like some structural stuff on the outside of the hull instead of on the inside so you can make the inner hull smaller it also gives you more reserve buoyancy a 
piloted it, just like the Typhoon class for the Oscar twos. Oh no, no, Typhoon is a uh, very, very unique in that regard. Oscar two, yeah, just a single pressure hull down the middle, because all this space on the sides is for the. Uh, you can see the doors is for the shipwrecks, the missiles. They're uh, outboard here. It's outside the pressure hull. I mean, I think each of their tubes is like a pressure hull, but they are outside the the submarine's pressure hull. Okay, they're like coming together here. Doing something funky. Let's slow our roll for a second here. Five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oscar two, Victor three. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Hey, there you go, one tube reloaded. <laughs> Yeah, Oscar II was also quite expensive, but I'm going to say Typhoon was a lot more expensive. <laughs> that design is so weird and unique. There's no way it wasn't outrageously expensive. I think Typhoon has something more like four or five pressure hulls and very oddly shaped I mean I don't think it wasn't done for no reason I would assume it would be it was done to fit that enormous missile whatever it's called con sonar lost contact Sierra one ring ship for ultra quiet Oh, the Victor 3 went quiet. Lovely. Is it still pinging? Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. I think it's just the Oscar. No, Victor is still pinging. Could be picking my ass up. Let's, uh, I'm gonna take some initiative Not here. Maneuvering. Making turns for three knots. Shoot two one, aye sir. Come left two. Make turns for three zero knots. Maneuvering eye. I was thinking about cutting the wire, but there's no point. I'm gonna have to wait for this tube to reload anyway. <clears throat> Might as well just try and keep it as long as possible. Gone fire control. We've lost the wire. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Con helm, steady course. So what's the rule of thumb for crush in this game? Is it 25% on test? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 1 bearing 2, 3, 8. 875 feet. Is there a limit? That Oscar two may be gone. He may never be. He may ne be never coming back. <laughs> Probably should have just tried to take a pot shot at him, but it was pretty far. Thirteen thousand yards at flank. That is a torpedo. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing two one two contact faded. Yoink. Con maneuvering, making turns for three zero knots.
Oh, I was just trying to think in terms of like torpedoes effect on an Oscar. What was the uh, timeline for the Kursk Kursk incident? Was it uh one torpedo didn't explode at first, right? It was just a fire that started and then all the torpedoes exploded or did one torpedo explode, start a fire and then all the torpedoes exploded? And then did it sink in that meantime? between the first and second. Yeah, okay, so there was two explosions, weren't there? As I'm remembering, yeah, there were two explosions. I don't know if we if if we would even know. It'll just be speculative. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Didn't one go, then the whole torpedo room go off. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that it was one torpedo exploded that started a fire. And then some time later, not a lot, but there's like time in between. Then everything else in the compartment cooked off. Uh, he dodged that. Hootie, hello, thank you. I wonder if they changed it in dot mod where you can make solutions on a contact going away. I think that was like a stock game thing where you couldn't do it. Oh, never mind. Did Oscar stop pinging? No, he's still going. This Make battle may be five knots. Maneuvering eye. pointless at this point. This guy's just keep running away. I just need to go back to the old strats of like a three torpedo spread. <clears throat> I think Norwegian seismic detected one small explosion, explosion and then the massive one. Yeah. No, I definitely remember like yeah, two explosions now. I'm trying to remember if like a fire started the first explosion or if the first torpedo exploded spontaneously. Going to guess the latter. And then I remember something about a sixty five seventy six torpedo being like dropped on the dock before it was loaded onto the boat. But that's the only, I just have that memory. I'm not sure of the context to it. Ah, oh, so close. Need that range scale. Oh no. I wanted to press R for like range circle from dangerous waters. <laughs> okay, our scale's two kill yards. Oh, that was close. It's not technically too far. Let's give it a shot. Let's wait to see where he steadies out. Okay, we have to snake. There's no straight through. That's a dot mod thing. The 6576 torpedo, or whichever torpedo it was that exploded, used like kerosene. Or something. It used something that was known to be unstable, but had not been changed out Call yet. On, torpedo room two two ready. Because like the two thousands were like the the low point. Okay, well let's just if we stay sneaky, we can try and actually like keep this wire here for Shoot two, four. a bit. Aye, Maybe we should actually. Oh, it doesn't re-update the. Uh, intercept point there.
Just go flank. I won't be able to catch up to him. He's got the same speed as me. He's going flank. My flank is pretty much the same speed as his flank. I might have one knot of advance on him. Kerosene vaporizes is really dumb and dangerous. Yeah, I mean, just kind of talking off the top of my head, but probably a side effect of... Uh, Actually, no, I don't know. I'm not going to spout nonsense. I was going to say something like uh, the Soviets could get their hands on kind of thing. But I don't know if that's accurate. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, two. Five, two. Contact faded. I still need to see the Curse movie. So many movies I need to see. So many movies. I did see a scene of Wolf's Call thanks to Tychosis. It was uh, the scene where he's on top of the sail shooting down the, the helicopter. <laughs> it was uh, interesting. Liquid mercury fluoride, with, which oxidizes with water. That sounds horrifically nasty. <laughs> I know it's always confusing because, like, torpedoes use, like, auto engines. Or is it auto fuel? Which is not the same as an auto cycle. It's very confusing. Because, <laughs> like, internal combustion engines in, like, cars do, like, the auto cycle or, like, the diesel cycle. But auto fuel for like torpedoes is a different thing than the auto cycle. That Victor Three seems to not be aware that there's a there's inbound. Because we can't hear him, which means he's going slow. Still pinging. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. Maneuvering, making turns for three knots. Oscar, too. The, yeah, that guy's history. He's just gone. I don't blame him. He took a hit. <laughs> I would disengage. Depending on circumstances. Con, helm, steady course. Bob says auto. Which auto is it? It's auto fuel, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it's auto fuel that torpedoes use. They use some kind of weird, like, wash plate internal combustion. For some reason the word wash plate is in my, my memory. It's not auto cycle. Maybe it is. I don't know. Not in the sense that I would think of auto cycle, like uh, pistons and valves and stuff. Regained contact on Sierra one bearing two five two. Auto two, there you go. 
decomposes when heated. Maybe they're both named after the same guy, but for different, different things. <laughs> Will maybe you're 23, hello. Pizza day. Holy shit. It's salmon day in the FPS Chasley household. <laughs> okay, this guy's flanking. Where is he at though? I don't think the sub is there. Wait for the solution. I was about to say we could ping, but no, he's too far away. We'll not get a return. was a loud ping. <laughs> I think uh, I like deselected the boat, but on like 3D view, it kept like Sierra moving towards two, the camera. Last bearing one seven eight. Contact faded. <laughs> All right, where's this guy at? I've got I have the dilemma of like not wanting this torpedo to turn on yet because I don't know exactly where he is, but I also don't want to lose the wire. So close. <laughs> there you go. I was trying to steer it, but I don't think you can steer it until it actually goes active. Let's do it. Time to run three minutes, okay. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, three, nine. Come left to two, three, eight. Helm I. Con, fire control, weapon acquired.
Oh, he's turning right into it. He's doing that dumb thing. You arrogant ass. You've killed us. for a mission because that Oscar is uh, long gone we will wait for these tubes to reload make depth 4 zero, 0 make turns 4 5 knots maneuvering eye Wonder if that Oscar's in the layer. Make depth or rather the duct. <clears throat> Con, dive at two five zero feet, dive by. It's a sunny day. Victor three on the bottom. Look at that little bit of piping in the hole there. I don't think I've ever gotten like this close to to look at it. <laughs> Alright, we are all cock lock ready to rock here. Leave combat. Such a nasty way to go. Oh, for sure. Jeez, anything. Sub ship sinking at sea. If you're not dead and it goes down. Oh, that was the mission. Cool. Probably would not have beat the mission if we had not injured, injured, <laughs> damaged that Oscar. What is the name for Oscar in Russian? I think that's one I, I'm not aware of. What the, or rather, not the what the name for it in Russian is. What is the actual name for it, and not the NATO code word, or reporting name? <clears throat> okay. Cool. Hey, look, Stu, it's your P3, more or less. I'm sure, it's a different, different livery. Technically. Okay. Soviet submarines are attempting to break out into the North Atlantic in large numbers. These vessels must be stopped before they have a chance to reach vital shipping lanes. Green 11, Iceland and the Faroe Islands. Sink all. Sink all sons of bitches. Okay. Let's get on up there. Give it a save. I'll be right back. Okay. Got close enough to sinking on the barbell. What? <laughs> All right. Just do the same thing we did before. Wait for our prey. Oh, look at that tank. I feel like I have more contacts for that after the Ukraine stuff. I guess the last did I finished the last Cold Waters campaign before Russia invaded. Warsaw Pact takes West Germany, oh boy. <clears throat> I like big subs and I cannot dive. Good God. <laughs> I'll load it up. Cool. 
Zero eight nine. On sonar, new contact bearing. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar. Zero. Mm, it looks like Victor two this, this time. Eye. Submerged submarine. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Make depth one five zero feet. Dive by. I told you about that one. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Very possible. The fire, right? Something about like uh, pictures of barbell on the surface with smoke emanating. Sonar, Sierra, one, is cavitating. Dove with the bridge hatches Dive open. Oh my one god. Five, zero feet. Dive by. <clears throat> I honestly cannot remember if you told me this. And if you have, I feel very bad that I cannot remember. <laughs> I'm racking my brain right now. I feel like there's no way you haven't told me it. Such a crazy story. Lost your boss in a bud. I don't know that you have told me this. Or at least I don't remember. I feel like there's no way I would not remember that. <clears throat> Kika325, hello. Hey, Chasley, a random question out of nowhere. What exactly do you do for work, if you can tell? I can indeed. I uh, design packages that transport nuclear material. So, gotta make sure it doesn't give people too much dose. Uh, I design them from a nuclear standpoint, that is. So, don't give people too much dose and don't get any accidental chain reactions, both of which would be bad. Chain reaction, definitely much worse in the short term. <laughs> Rigged for surface and the hydraulics for the stern planes crapped out. Oh boy, it like jammed pitch up or like uh planes up <clears throat> pitch down getting confused in the spatial orientation in my head <laughs> whichever direction makes the sub go down <laughs> <clears throat> Herr Kaiser, hello. Just dropped. Oof. Oh, okay. So the hydraulics keep them up. And if you the hydraulics go away, this happens. Goodness. Hydraulics or foobar. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, 
Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, zero, nine, seven, contact faded. And we popped under the layer. Make depth two, five, zero feet, dive by. Sometimes there are those parts that have a single point of failure and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, some systems are like that. Actually, most, but just as a... I don't know, I, I wouldn't say like comparison point or counterpoint, but just like if you're doing like criticality safety with the possibility of a chain reaction, there always, always has to be double contingency. But of course, it's a very special case. But yeah, that's uh, that was incredibly. Is that like the closest that a boat has come? A U.S. sub has come to sinking since like permit Con or since like the Thresher or Skipjack? On Sierra one, bearing, not Skipjack, zero, Scorpion. Nine, nine. boat wants to kill someone. It is a very unnatural environment for humans to operate in, that's for sure. Oh, this guy's just, like, sounding. He's just, like, going for it. Okay, this solution is not doing anything. Let's try and see if we can't speed this up here. <clears throat> the weird solution building in this game. He's just on like angles and dangles, up and down, twirling all around, speeding up, slowing down. Full flank is the only option. I got in Russia today because he was working on a big project for a major zoo in Russia, flown in as an expert. a zoologist oh, we are going to be close aboard with this Vicky just yellow flank speed <laughs> yeah the game does not make you completely blind and deaf at flank like he should be. Animal nutritionist for exotic animals. Nice. Mostly I'm deaf and blind. <laughs> it depends on the boat. If you're in like an older, louder boat, it might be advantageous to zip around a, a bit more. But if you got the quiet... Might as well use it. Come left to three, five, nine, helm I. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuver. Okay, the jig is up. Make turns. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra one. Come left to. 
Make turns for one. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Passing 300 feet. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing. One, two, three. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 1, bearing 1, 2, four. passing 600 feet. Oh, he launched a pretty good spread on those torps there. Passing 700 feet. Oh, did I not get the flank? Make Good God. Turns for three, zero. <clears throat> con, con, sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one, zero, two. Passing 800 feet. I looked over and was like, why am I at 15 Passing knots? <laughs> 700 feet. Thought I ordered all flank. Passing 600 feet. Con sonar. Yeah, for some we reason, the official NATO for Alpha is the Italian spelling, A-L-F-A. Don't know why. Feet. Why did that torpedo ascend? That oh, was it set to go shallow and active. Feet. Okay, sinking. Feet. Sinking pretty rapidly. to crushed up the yeah, that's always my fear <laughs> I have a hard time deliberately going through crushed up in these games okay well that actually didn't turn out terribly Just got so close and all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'm going to stop and take a peek. And it's like, holy crap, we're right there. Make turns for one, zero knots. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing 200 feet. Depth 3-0-0-8, dive by. Oh, driving right over that Victor, all those creaky, cro creaky gronies. I feel like it shouldn't be creaking and groaning anymore once it's on the bottom, but eh, who knows. Let's uh, speed it on up here while we wait for this tube to reload. I don't even know if this is necessary yet. I'm under the impression you can reload the tubes at like the status screen between missions, but I've also heard like that you can't, so I'm not sure which is true. I don't want to go into the next mission with the tube empty, so we'll just uh, just play it safe. I think the time speed up in this game is times nine, so if this is a nine minute reload, then yeah, just Reduces it to a minute. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay. 
Make turns <clears throat> for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Crush depth is my favorite depth. That's where my girlfriend lives. Or crush department. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Well done, not your mission. Okay, do I want to do another one? Don't think so. Getting close to the end, <laughs> unfortunately. That was the one. If you could save missions while in mission, that would be awesome, but it is not possible in this game, unfortunately. I don't want to get stuck in some 45 minute mission here. So. I will call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, nice to hop back into this. I'd like I wouldn't mind doing some more dangerous waters. I just hate like being like, oh let's try this mission, let's try this mission. I wanted to I just wanna like have a, a better feeling of knowing something's gonna be good before I go into it. But I can't try the mission out before I see if it's good because then it just becomes like, okay, well I know how it goes, but we'll see. If you have any like particularly good Dangerous Waters missions that you know, just share them in uh, Discord or post them in a comment or something, but yeah, so we'll stop it there. I'm not gonna just like stick to cold waters. I'll, we can sprinkle some Dangerous Waters in there, but I like the consistency of being like, I can come to this campaign and play, so yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good one, and as always, good hunting.